Got a song for you, Heather. Because you don't know how to behave yourself. That's why you never had a stable place to live. Because you don't know how to act. Always acting a goddamn fool. But, but let me tell you something, Heather. You and Xavier, buy another tent. Don't wait too long and don't beg for donations. Use, use your damn money that you get from the government. The two of you guys got money enough that you don't need to rely on donations. But the problem is, you think that you deserve everything just handed to you. And you have just such a horrible attitude. And you're lazy. So there's only one place for you to go. Only one place for you to stay. That place is outside. Because you don't belong indoors. You're not a human being. You're subhuman. You take advantage of your white privilege. And I don't understand how you haven't been arrested and thrown in jail yet. Because you're a horrible mother. That's why you don't have no custody of any of them kids. Including the two you deleted. I ain't going to get on your neck for the one that, that was a miscarriage. That's not right. But at the same time, you are a horrible parent. You deserve to be outside. But the problem is you're scared to go outside. Even though we know you love living outside. Because again, you're not a human being. You don't carry yourself like a human being. You love living like an animal. You and Xavier. And I don't know which one you use worse. <laughs> but just make sure you keep them bags packed. Because Selena Mo Hotel ain't going to put up with you for long. And we know you're going to screw it up. It's only a matter of time. We ain't got to make no phone calls. We ain't got no send no emails. Okay, at the end of the day, we know you you're scared to go outside. So this is a uh, no no contendo. He's been <laughs> I don't know. he's been tagging me in his uh, his videos. He made a song that was his song. I thought it was it's a pretty fancy song. But Heather and Xavier too scared to live outside. Um, seems like a pretty cool guy. It's all in the dark though. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. But I hope you guys are all doing great. Oh no, this wasn't that wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't me no it's no no contendo i put him in the the links in the description so if you guys want to check him out uh he's a pretty cool guy he's pretty chill but um i hope you guys are all doing great tonight uh we got like an hour of content of heather today um but bcg hope you're doing well like xavier's xavier's eggplant <laughs> we're doing good too chrissy um amber marie we got karen's first cousin dabney miller ryan ryan great to see you as always uh gretchen i think i already see you and my flock my love megan um yeah so we will let's just get into it here let me flip over to this bom, 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 bom. oh no that one this one yeah so um it's just stories no more lives she doesn't do lives anymore I don't know why. Uh, probably the court thing, I'm guessing. And she only posted like her one Heather G account as well. So I, I never see her really on the uh, the Coco Chanel YSL. I don't know if she's like, ah, well, the, the judge probably doesn't know about that one. So, I mean, I think anyone would let him know. Anyone who looked at Judge Know before. So um, I haven't really seen too much from this week. I'm not, I don't know what to expect. I know that she's still in that hotel. I'm pretty sure she's been in the hotel all week. So it's Hotel Coco Hobo, California. Um, but I don't know what she's been up to. She's been really boring the past two weeks. I haven't even done like weekly recaps because she's just been, you know, doing nothing. But maybe, maybe she's more interesting this week. So uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. For anyone who was worried about my milk supply, pardon me. Um, it's back up. So, oh, okay. Well, that's a good way to start it. I was, I was super worried about Heather's milk supply. So if anyone else is worried, it's back up. Don't worry. Her boobs are engorged again. Thank you so much uh, for your concern. It just took me pumping what? every two to three hours over and over, even when only a little milk would come out. Um, and then seeing the baby and feeding him. Was she, she was shooting blanks, but like, with her, well, I don't even know what this is about. Who was concerned about this? Um, it, it came right back. So we're back up to six ounces per pump every four to six hours, which is where I'm going to keep it. Um, 
And yeah, so that's all fixed. It is frustrating and scary when you get so engorged. I highly recommend never allowing yourself, if you can help it, you know, to go 12, 16 hours without pumping or feeding. It's very painful. And there's also a huge risk for mastitis, which is like um, really hard, really hard uh, little balls. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good morning because it's at six in the fucking morning. This is what this is what Xavier wakes up to at six in the morning. My goodness. My goodness. And and like cement feeling tissue in your breast that becomes infected. Um, you should always be pumping, even if you're deciding not to breastfeed anymore. You then wrap your breast in an ace bandage and um, and still express at least an ounce um of milk every i would say four to six hours until your supply diminishes you never just want to you know stop from where i was 30 to 40 ounces in two days uh, it's just very painful and there's an incredible risk of infection uh, if you do it that way so everything is back to normal um we're getting a fridge um they probably what they don't have a fridge right now not even a mini fridge this is uh, for the room with a little freezer in it so we're just very grateful to be back on track. Um, and thank you guys for asking. There are several models that I work with. I'm the only model. I'm the one and only model for the whole entire goal. So I don't know what happened here. It glitched here. So it's just like a, a frozen screen, but this is the only time it does that. GoPro Solo, the only other person on the earth who's ever curated for GoPro Solo, there are two besides myself. My former assistant, Amy, and Xavier. Those are the only ones who have curated for GoPro Solo besides myself. And I'm literally the only model. What are they listening to? Are they they're listening to like classical music or some shit? Model. So I work with a lot of wigs. I work with a lot of different makeup looks. And we try really, really hard to communicate the messages for or or vibes as some people like to call them. This is even weirder without her talking, because it's just like Feels like an art show almost, especially with that music in the background. With just me. Um, and by altering my hair and makeup and, and outfit, we can encapsulate an entire different vibe. Um, so if you guys are into that, if you guys are musicians, if you guys are models, if you guys are um, content creators, any sort of creatives, and you're looking for curation, please let us know. Good morning, guys. So I just posted that post uh, about home health care. I have four children. Um, I have raised mostly by myself. So the big. What is this? What is this? Oh, it might be nothing, actually. Maybe it might just be like a Fitbit. I thought she was at the hospital. The hospital. The kids were zero years old when I began raising them. And full time, they lived with me their entire lives through 2020. Um, when COVID came and I experienced this. A mental breakdown? What did you experience? What are you going to say? Took your kids away. It's homelessness uh, for the first time. So, oh, homelessness, oh, yeah. so I had to let them go to stay with their fathers mostly. Um, but I am an excellent caregiver and really capable when it comes to taking care of children, elderly, sick. I don't think you can't even take care of you and Xavier. What do you mean? Oh, the elderly, the sick, the children. I could take care of all those people just myself. I need someone else to take care of me and Xavier's not a not a good candidate. That does look actually kind of like, yeah, that's a sticker. I thought there was um holes in it. Like I thought there was a it was a band before, but I guess I guess it was not right. <laughs> um people, if you have someone like that, I am 100% willing to work with Medicare um, or even Medicaid um, as billable insurances. So please email me, um, use the one Heather G email. And if it's a <laughs> that just a, that cut there. Live in um, caregiving even better. So please let me know about that. Um, I can bring, you know, my children over like on the weekends um you know anything that's going to give me the most opportunity to be with my family i'm looking for so remote would be ideal a uh, remote with you know a salary ranging from 50 to 80,000 annual is really what i'm looking for right now uh, 
fifty to eighty thousand dollars. Is this what she did all week? She just laid in bed and did these stories. My last time I was a full time employee of Northwestern, I was making approximately forty five, um, and then I had a whole bunch of supplementary projects going on. So about um, about yeah, forty five thousand annual. I want to take a step up from that, um, but obviously, if you're offering forty five, please still contact me. Um, Use the Heather, one Heather, G-E-E at gmail.com email. And let me know if you guys need references or letters of recommendation. This is how I look in the morning. <laughs> uh, okay. Scary, huh? I mean, scary all the time, not just the morning. I just woke up again. I'm waking up every three to six hours, we'll say, for pumping. If I'm awake, I usually am doing it like two to three to get the supply up. So she's just like in the hotel, pumping milk, getting a fridge to put the put the milk in the freezer in the fridge. This is life. Like, how did this happen? I never thought this was going to be the turn of events after the tent. Like we went from a tent to just in a hotel pumping milk constantly, like just constantly. What, what else are we going to do? Is this the whole week? BCG, where's BCG? Is this the whole week, BCG? Um, but if I'm sleeping, usually every five. Oh, Mama Bear. Hello, Mama Bear. I don't where is she? Oh, and your highness. Hello, everybody. Hello, everyone. Five to four hours, I'll wake up to pump. Um, whether that's through setting an alarm or whatever. Now, in the book, the body keeps the score for um, survivors of traumatic, post-traumatic stress. Um, my personal issues they prevented me from sleeping. Um, they were surrounding fears of not having enough money, uh, pressures from working a lot, um, as well as other abuses that I had um, endured, um, mental, sexual, physical, et cetera. In that novel, it talks about the number of years that it took you to get abused. You need at least, in best case, that number and half that number um, so again, that was the book I was discussing, uh, Complex and Simple Trauma, Post-Traumatic Stress Disorder. Um, when you have these things, um, it takes the book, Keep the body keeps the score. Why is she still the hospital thing on? I guess, like, I don't know if this was just the first day, but, like, I don't know. Does she keep it on all week? Uh, discusses how you need at least the time period of abuse and half up to three times the period of abuse to chemically get your brain back to where it's quote unquote normal. And what that means is. That means you've been outside for a whole year. So you have to, you get like a free hotel for a whole year. Is that the, the math you're doing now? I was abused. I was, a they kept me in a tent for a whole year. So now you guys, I need to stay in this. Uh, I just got to milk myself for a whole year. Okay. That's what we're going to do here. We're going to milk ourselves for a whole fucking year. And then um, then I'll be ready to go back into society. Is that our point? Where you were before you started enduring the abuse. So for me personally, I like to use the example of being sleep deprived. So there was a good two to three year period when I was only sleeping two um, to three hours, four hours a night. Some nights I was sleeping not at all. Uh, the kids would go with their dads on the weekends and I would try to work as much oh, as I possibly okay. could so that during the week. I so LA. La, La L or L A L says um, they have to wear these bracelets in the shelter. That makes that makes more sense. I could be home with them. I just slept from seven p.m. last night to 10, 9 a.m. this morning. I'm still a little tired. Um, so yeah, and it's not just that you have to actually not be abused anymore. <laughs> so if you're you're given this rest period, you know, of two years after undergoing two to three years of that type of abuse, but for the first two years of the two years, you're still being sexually assaulted or physically or mentally manipulated or uh, abused in some way, that's not a period of healing. That's a period of prolonged abuse. I mean, at least you're not going off about like um, surrogacy and adoption and uh, other fun shit like that. I mean, not yet, at least. I mean, who, knows? who knows what we're in for? Um, so I, I discussed this a lot in um, the thesis that I was writing about PTSD. Um, I am looking, in addition for employment, for publishers or people with experience in publishing to help me. I have everything handwritten. 
um, as well as written in my notes. It's very chaotic, but it's very intelligent and well thought out. And I really want to publish. So for people who have experience in publishing, please also use the one Heather G email. So I was approved for um, medical and food benefits along with um, emergency cash benefits, um, which. So like I heard some people speculate that she did, she got these because she had the kid. Like she's supposed to be caring for the kid, but she didn't have custody of the kid. So is it a scam? Is she scamming the fucking thing? Um, or maybe the, 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 the she's just getting welfare now, but like that makes me wonder why the fuck she didn't just do this before. And is Xavier with her? He must be with her. We never see Xavier much anymore. A emergency status means they give it to you right away. Um, and I was approved through August, uh, August of 2024. Immediately after I got out of the hospital, I tried to use my card, no money, no funding. So I called and even though they let Xavier do his midpoint certification over the phone and gave him all of his money, um, they don't allow me to do that. They want me to go into the office. Well, bus passes cost $20 each um, for a seven day period and ours expire on Monday. <laughs> Okay, I fucked that up. Um, you know what I did? You know what I just did there? I pressed, like, there's a back button on my mouse, and it took me out of the fucking stream. <laughs> so, okay, I got, I'm got. i back. I'm back, and here, uh, I'll just put it back, like, uh, like, 30 seconds. I was like, what is happening? What is going on? That wasn't good. That was no bueno at all. All right, here we go. Go into the office. Well, bus passes cost twenty dollars each yeah, um, for, for a that seven costs. day period, that and costs. ours expire on Monday. <laughs> so I have nothing but appointments this upcoming week. Most of them are on Zoom or telehealth, um, but I do need to get to that office by Monday so that I can get those benefits by Friday. Um, and until then, if anyone wants to donate a lunch or a meal, please do so uh, with Cash App and thank you in advance. So like she just like listed off all the ways she's getting money and shit, but she's like, I still need twenty more dollars. So like, can you just cash at me the money so we can get a uh, buses and shit? What is this? They're watching TV, but she like kind of cut. It's like, I don't know. This is a weird angle. Maybe she just uh put it in differently. That was the emerald. Oh. Going to put in the and it sticks around for several days, so we're down here today to see it. The next couple of days, it still looks a little green for several days after today. What is this? It's green for St. Patrick's Day, I'm guessing? Everybody always asks, is it environmentally friendly? Yes, it is. And I have to add, other cities have tried to imitate this and sort of find what that secret formula is. Well, that formula remains secret. It's a secret formula of green water? Where is this? What is this? I know this is actually interesting. Heather's teaching me. At least when Heather finds something cool on TV, I'm imagining it's like algae or Kool-Aid or something. Is it environmentally friendly? Of course it is. Because if we said it wasn't, the company who paid for all this, because obviously very sensitive, had to be, uh, will sue the fuck out of us. Um, what do you guys think it is? Mountain Dew? Slime? I'll do a poll. I should I should done a poll the other time. I don't <laughs> I won't ever know it, but it's such a great tradition here in Chicago. And, and the crowds this morning are out and about watching the, uh, the river get dyed. And now they're all joining us for the parade, which is going to kick off in just a few moments. But, you know, this is the 69th year for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. And the plumbers put it on, local on 30. That's right. This parade on. And Jim Coy, who's our dear friend, has uh, an introduction for us as we get ready to start the parade. Jim? Have you guys heard of this? The tipping culture going too far? Um, I agree with the people being annoyed, but at the same time, it's like... What's the tipping? Oh, like we got a tip a lot? Over 75% of Americans say tipping culture has gone too far. What is that? What, what kind of culture? Culture is... Uh... 
we got a tip more? Is that what she's complaining about? What kind of a culture are we when we can't just politely decline to tip if we feel as though it's unnecessary? Everyone should be able to ask, right? Why not? I think Heather would get pissy if no one was tipping her at her serving job. Like what kind what kind of what context? You know, if I'm picking up pizza myself from the place, I'm not tipping the guy. But like if you're getting served, you should at least tip what? What what's like the the decent amount? Twenty percent, twenty-five percent? Seventy-five percent of Americans. Okay, so it's not saying like you gotta tip seventy-five percent. I would have said that's fucking insane, but um I don't think this is something Heather has to worry about. Where are you eating out, Heather, that you got to tip so much that it's breaking your bank? What if someone wants to? But we have to just get better as, as a society with saying no, politely declining, and also with being okay receiving a no. What's the, what's the harm in being asked, right? If we say that people can't ask, I think that's almost, you know, kind of like censorship um, and violating our amendment. What is that? The first, third, fifth? Oh God. Uh, I need to brush up on my amendments, but I think we should, I think they should be able to ask. I think we just have to get better at saying and receiving the word no. This is just weird though. So she's just like sitting there pumping in the hotel. She's like, you know what? I think we're tipping too much these days. Do people expect tips too often? So why, why is this pop in your head? And if you guys are looking for something to do in Chicago, I like this frog up here. Look at, look at this guy. The St. Patrick's Day Parade is today. We were going to go, but you guys know I'm just three weeks postpartum and we walked over 20 miles this week. So she's bored. She's boring me. I should have, like, hmm, I should have thought of something fun for us to do. With boring Heather. Um, I'll think of something. Taking it easy. Wow, what's this? I mean, this, this is the most exciting thing we've seen. Hey, I've been using cows. This is a cash app fucking grab. Mama Mia. Mama Mia. So I think a super worthwhile project for someone with the background would be translating the Bible. Make it be like in words that apply to the world that we live in today and do it page by page and sell the book with the bible's original version and the translation the reason why i can't be a starving artist is because i'm also a mom uh, and a business professional and a healthcare professional what why can't you be a starving artist is she not a, an artist in her own mind when she does her photo shoots and shit? And she's starving all right. Well, I mean, she gets donations. She just doesn't want to be poor. I don't fucking know. I don't even know what she's trying to say here. She's being crazy. And a marketing and social media manager and all of these other things. So um, specifically, I need to pump breast milk and it needs to be filled with nutrients and vitamins. Uh, I still take prenatals. I just got a refill yesterday. Um, so that my breast milk is. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. If you're just sitting there with his hands on his hips, staring out the window. <laughs> what is that? Hold on. That's very, that's interesting. I, guess. I hate not being able to see. Okay. Whoa. It's too far. Sorry, blah, 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 blah. Um, around here, I just got a refill yesterday. That green, um, so that <laughs> it's just staring out the window, kind of sideways, like this out the window. That's fucking weird. He's a very strange man. That my breast milk is packed with tons of vitamins and food that's good for baby. Oh, he's a fucking squirrel or something, maybe. Um, but I miss breakfast, so if anyone wants to send me uh, some some little donation for food, please do so via Cash App, or you could use Google Pay. Um, either one would be very much appreciated. Something else that I found that's interesting oh, is if you guys on. read this. Now he's, now he's not looking at the window. Wait, he's got his hair bun. Should have done my hair in a bun. My hair is like weird today. It didn't dry very well. Um, He's watching the TV. He's watching TV, yeah. He looks like he's watching TV here. What is going on my computer? Be good. Computer. This book, The Body Keeps the Score. It's about PTSD um, and other things like that. 
I went a good two to three years only sleeping like two to four hours a night, like very abusive uh, sleeping patterns. My body is so tired now. Last night, what time did I fall asleep, babe? 7.30, 8 o'clock? Yeah. Literally. And I slept all the way until right now. And I'm just getting out of bed right now to pump. I did, in my defense, wake up every three to four hours to pump throughout the night. Well, then, then you didn't sleep all the... Oh, I was just about to say, are your boobs engorged then? Like, I can't believe this is the saga we're living in now. I can't... I can't do another... I can't do a recap of this either. Maybe I'll just do a recap of the past three weeks. Heather's been in a hotel and she just pumped breast milk. Um... It might be that time, guys. It might be that time where I have to go get um, free consulting from Heather and have her make my landing page and shit just to just to get something. I would have done that this week if I knew it was all this. I should be really screening stuff more throughout the week. So that takes away some time. But it just goes to show you that it's true what they say in that book. They talk about how many years it takes to break yeah. your body down. <laughs> it takes yeah. at least that and a half to rebuild your body back up at least it on average, it takes two to three times that amount, but at least one and a half times that amount. So if you've been abusing your body and not sleeping for three years, there's some advice that I'd like to share with all of you. Okay. I love advice from Heather. I have a lot of education. And That's a lie. And I was a very young mother in school with children working full time or part time or both. Um, and today I told my 17 year old, you're going to graduate this year and I want you to do whatever you want. That's beautiful advice. I wish my parents were like, you're going to graduate from high school and you can do whatever you want. That would have been dope. Whether it's continuing to work the job that you have, looking for another job. Um, there's a lash course for $99 I'll pay for, for you. You know, uh, if you want to go to beauty school, whatever it is, do whatever you want for as long as you can. Take at least two years off of school entirely. Enjoy yourself. Do not go taking out a whole bunch of loans and rushing yourself through college. And I wish to God I had someone to give me this advice when I was young. Wish to God, because the only debt I have to my name is school is school loan debt. That is the only debt I have. Well, I'm like debt to society and stuff. Debt to like I don't know, I guess it's I mean drug dealers, debt to drug dealers. You know when she's like, I just woke up in the middle of the night to someone kicking me in the head for no reason. I mean like that's what a drug dealer would do if he didn't get his money and he found you somewhere in Lincoln Park. You know what I'm saying? You know. So I'm I'm skeptical. It's time to feed the dogs. I can't believe less than a month ago I was so pregnant. It's just so crazy. Look at this picture, you guys. Good morning, guys. So what the fuck? This is my unperfect postpartum body. I should be careful what I wish for. Remember when I was like, I'm bored. Heather should do something else. This is the something else. <laughs> fuck. I'm four weeks postpartum. Oh, yeah. She's a bodybuilder, right? She, like, lifts weights. She's a, what the fuck is it? A heavy lifting waiter. Heavy weight lifter. Heavy weight lifter. That's what they're called, I think. Heard them today at 321 in the morning tomorrow. So I have a belly still. I have this and I have this to work on. My legs are the same way. I was 123 pounds before I got pregnant with the twins. I don't think so. 123 pounds? Heather is not at 100. I don't, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but what Heather is, um, Heather's not 123 pounds. Um, for anyone who's new here, uh, Xavier and I had an 18 week pregnancy parish on December 26, 2022. Uh, no, not after the twins. I don't know. Sorry, I was thinking for a second because she posts all his really, really, really old pictures. Where like some of them, she is she is really thin. So maybe like then I could say 123. But seeing this right now, and then just knowing Heather, I guess, I guess I always knew her when she was pregnant. She was pregnant in October, right? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I just don't know because I've only seen Heather pregnant for the most part of my 
viewing her? Um, I was treated in the hospital and then I was pregnant four months later while on birth control. That's why I say Weston Mateo and Mateo means gift from God because we weren't trying for that. That was in God's plan. Jehovah God, right? Um, so I am rebuilding my body and I welcome you guys to join me on the one Heather G birth. I love when she cuts it off. So like here, so maybe 123 here. Now, if you look at those pictures before, obviously I look nothing like that. Look at, here's the same position. Well, you just had a kid. And as when I was doing these tricep pull downs, you could see I have a bunch of excess fat. I still have the muscular development. My back is still pretty developed. Why? Why are we doing this? Why are we here? Just to suffer. Just to suffer, man. I, I need my vape battery. I need a new vape battery. All things considered. You don't really lose that muscle, um, but I definitely need to get back in the gym. So we are going to start off with, I saw this guy who swears by this for, for your abs, for the rebuild of your abs, for moms, toe touches, crossing your body. So five minutes of that every day, we're going to do that every day. And we're going to jog for an hour every single day. And I'm looking here for my own endurance rather than distance. So we're going to do it on a round track and I'm not going to record distance. I'm just going to push myself as hard as I can. These She's got them on Olympic jeans like James Soroka. James Soroka is in jail still. I got to check on him too. Well, I don't know what he's about to. First two weeks. Week three and four, we're going to be doing it with a, as a ruck. So with duffel bags over my arms, filled with stuff, running around the track. Um, and you guys know I like to, I'm still nursing and I'm still pumping, so I need to keep my calories up. So I cannot, I'm not going to get where I was. Where I was, I was eating five meals a day. Um, I'm in a, a homeless shelter right now, so I can't do that. I was eating. She's in a homeless shelter. You're in a homeless hotel. Hobo Hotel, Coco Hobo Hotel, California. What is this? Oh, it's just a vent. I'm surprised she doesn't have it taped up. She doesn't have the fucking paranoia yet. One five ounce piece of chicken breast five times a day with a veggie and some good fats. I was incredibly hard on myself during my prep periods. And during those periods, if I didn't have five meals a day, I had one meal a day. Um, so like I said, I'm breastfeeding right now. I have a newborn. I'm not looking to get right where I was. I'm being loving to my body. I'm listening to my body. Um, and I'm going to also start incorporating, I think, Pilates. Oh, excuse me. Um, oh, okay. I only know, I, I kind of know what Pilates is. They used to sell a Pilates ball on a box of cereal. And that's all I know about it. So, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to be broadcasting that on the One Heather G Birth Plan page. I'm going to transfer it over to a postpartum page. Another thing, ladies, do not be in such a rush to discontinue your prenatal vitamins. Take prenatal vitamins as long as you can, especially if you are nursing your baby. I just got done doing the five minutes. Just to give you guys a little insight. Have you guys ever seen the Fresh Prince, the, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Is she talking about the toe tappy tiptoe things? Why is she out of Oh my God. Mama Mia. I don't even know what to say with this, guys. Ah, the Carlton ah. dance. <laughs> That's literally my neighbors have got to be scarred. But it hurts and it's effective. So my legs and my abs are feeling it. Heather just like throwing her body around in the fucking hotel. Yeah, the neighbors probably love her. Probably love her. Just there's this insane woman just talking to herself in the room, fucking like whipping her body around. Her boyfriend just stares out the window. Like Captain fucking Morgan. The fuck. <laughs> ah, I like them better in the tent. I don't want her to go back into the tent. Like, I don't want Heather to be homeless, right? But, like, she could be using this for so many more things. You have an opportunity. You get so much work done. Make the coffee table book. Where is the coffee table book? This is a perfect time. We finish the novel. We could, we could read the novel. I might have to start looking at, like, mercifulstorm.com and shit for, like, excitement you know put some spark back into our lives and i am getting ready to go do the cardio portion you guys have a great day hey it's xavier and it's green i pants match the river 
Why is she out of breath all the time now? Just all the time out of breath. My resume. You know that I worked at Northwestern Hospital. I worked at pretty much every hospital in the Chicagoland area. She also said she was going to write a song one day. Just one day, never did. I was so excited for that. I was like, Xavier's going to write the music. Heather's going to write the lyrics. He's going to be. I've never heard Heather sing. I don't know if I want to hear Heather sing. That's probably like something I shouldn't wish for either. But um, oh, that'd be interesting. She has the opportunity to do all that now. She has the space and the resources. She's got like, as far as a homeless person is concerned, like a fuck ton of money and donations on top of that. That's insane. Like that is crazy. Um, she, she, she should capitalize on this instead of just like eating a whole bunch of calories for breast milk that probably isn't going to her kid. That she's just going to freeze for the rest of eternity here. Yeah. Private physician's offices. I went to school for many, many, many years. I think I was in school more years than I was out of school. And I took a specific billing and coding class. Yet every single job I apply for, for billing and coding, sends me like this to this link. Look at this. Look at this next video. I might have taken the video down because I was like, oh, it's just like nonsense. This probably isn't the video. But what billing and coding doesn't sound like it's the same thing. Like coding, like like a computer, like coding, right? How, billing, like I work in billing technically. It's, they're two separate, completely separate things. Am I crazy? Am I thinking of like a different billing or a different coding? One. America needs healthcare experts. Oh, is this the link? To be working remotely with my son Weston in my arms, breastfeeding him as often as he needs to eat, and my three big kids having regular access to wherever they need to go uh, to seek peace with their mother, whether that means their own bedroom in my home or you know, one bedroom that I put bunk beds in or whatever it is, because you guys know about the issues with, uh, I don't have a house right now. So that's the- Yeah, that's a pretty big issue. Goal, but every single time I click on any remote work opportunity, no matter where it is, it leads to nothing. Well, it doesn't really matter anyways, because you don't have, like you said, you don't have a house. You need an address to work from home. It's work from fucking home, not work from, I don't know, wherever the hell, the hotel is or the shelter is these days or the tent working the fucking tent imagine heather working at a call center from the tent on like uh xavier's phone where he's got the like the mouse that he uses with the phone and shit um i don't know i don't even know what she's applying for work from home work from nowhere and i've been sending out two to three hundred resumes every single month every single month my entire pregnancy without exception I'll show you. If it's not still up on the 24-hour period uh, posting, I'll, I'll post it again right now with my letters of recommendation. And for those of you saying, oh, Heather, you haven't been in shape since 2021. Uh, Give it up. You're old. <laughs> Two months before I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? What is that, Heather? Um, Give it up on what, though? Give it up on weightlifting? I met Xavier. I was also still in shape. Give up on working from home? Look at what this says, you guys. What does this say? Study being woke linked to anxiety and depression. And this is on Fox News. And um, I don't know. I'm sure this person is that's super credentials. No kidding. A study being woke linked to anxiety and depression. <laughs> you don't say knowing about all of the controversial corruptions that goes on in our daily lives makes us sad and depressed. Do you guys know that in addition to helping your uterus shrink to pre-pregnancy size, breastfeeding and pumping um, burns a significant amount of calories? So if you're feeling really hungry, um, don't think there's something wrong with you. You are just burning a bunch of calories from nursing your baby. That's, that's awesome, Heather. I didn't even didn't even think of that and you're like you're doing your jumping jack i'm gonna they're kind of like jumping jacks they're kind of like start jumps but they're the tippy toe thingies I wish there was a way to switch to the filter and then off of the filter like in the same one video this is no filter 
Is there no filter? You guys are the filter experts. You let me know. And then this is the filter. I mean, like, they do look different. Flawless. And then this is with the filter. You guys, I almost forgot to do... I'm exhausted. I had one of those interviews today that's like, you finish it and you're just like... Where did she get interviewed at? It's only it's only two in the afternoon. It isn't it doesn't look like two in the afternoon. It looks like the middle of the night. Bedtime. Um, and then I tried to push myself to run. I didn't do the hour that I wanted to do this morning of running, jogging rather. So I'm about to do those uh cross it's two PM and they're just like they got the draw the blinds drawn and they're hiding in the hotel. This has got like this is Hotel California, guys. Body toe touches that engage the abdominal and the glutes and the legs. I almost fell asleep without doing them, but I, I have to do them. So Carlton style, here it is. So I got another sponsor who has been following our story. I assume knows all of the stress that I've been under and wants me to influence her meditation machine. What? A meditation machine? Have you ever used an air purifier? What about a medica oh a medication machine? No, meta yeah, medication, not meditation. Um, and her air purifiers. So she ordered me the machine and we are waiting on it to be delivered. I'm very, very excited for it. Um, if you guys have tried it, let me know. I'm going to show you on the next um, clip what exactly I'm talking about. It's an air purifier um, and then a separate meditation machine. Let me know if you guys have tried these. I don't know. Okay, so meta. Oh, it is a meditation. Okay, so I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Hold on a second. I'm, um, hmm. hmm. So it's for uh, meditation, mindfulness, sound, fluency, frequency, machine. Why did she write medication machine then? Stop Asian hate. Now, what the fuck was this? What? Stop Asian hate. We got an ozone machine for that. Odor Eli stands with the Asian, Asian American, and Pacific Islander communities against hate. Okay. What? Uh, this is the Medela pump and style, completely billable through insurance. I just got done pumping, and then I transfer it to one of these bags. So for those of you who have been asking for the cash up, it is posted previous to this. I'm going to post it again. Um, and thank you so much. I do need new gym shoes and I appreciate you keeping your word. Um, I'm going to post it right now. So thank you very much. The okay. This is oh no, the foot. There's a foot. She like, here, hold on. I don't know if you guys want to see this. You want to see her fucking crazy foot? She like does a video of the foot too. It's it's gross. It's a gross foot. Well, why is my thing broken? These are the only two pairs of shoes I have, and these ones I just got at Forever Twenty One. They were thirty bucks, and they tore my feet up. I don't know how because they're a size seven wide, but I have huge blisters on the insoles of my feet. And look maybe because they'd be rubbing because they don't fit your foot properly. Then if they're so big that they'd be fucking rocking around your foot. Look at these. These babies have seen better days. I bought those at Marshall's last year, right after the twins passed away. Rest in peace. So there's an interesting theory, actually. So there was on the Heather Reddit, um, people were saying, that she's been at the churches lately and the church, the days that she's at the churches line up with the, um, Hey, I mean, it's here. I'll just, I guess I'll just pull this up now since I'm talking about it. I think, uh, BCG actually pointed this out on her stories. Uh, so possible narcotics anonymous meetings taking place at the church. Dusty and Xavier have been frequent with Ting 
thoughts. And this is from BCG Stories. Uh, so it's 1.06 p.m. and Dusty and X are back at St. James. St. James Cathedral. Why was I getting... Oh, James Charles is just a guy. I was like, where is Charles coming into my head? <laughs> St. James Charles fucking Cathedral. Uh, fun fact, at 1.05 uh, p.m., the Narcotics Anonymous meeting ended there. Uh, so all this performative church posting is likely because the court made them go to mandatory narcotics, narcotics, nah, this word, narcotics anonymous meetings. Um, and there it is, Thursday, 12.05 to 12, or 1.05. So coincidence? Coincidence? I don't know. But then someone on this Reddit said, uh, this is absolutely it. Uh, it could be one of their stipulations for staying in that sh hotel shelter. I know uh, the one up there, you're required to do meetings multiple times a week and have a slip that they have to fill out when they turn in. On top of numerous other things required of them, this is one. Also, I'd like to remind everyone that I have recovery friends in Chicago around the same area, area and Heather and Xavier, Xavier, holy shit, I can't speak. Uh, both are known for hitting up narcotics anonymous meetings to try to score drugs. They have caused uh, two confirmed people they have caused to confirm people that have my, that my friends have sponsored to relapse because they have offered uh, to hit people who can hook them up with a drug dealer. Since multiple dealers are out, uh, they get them from doing too many IOUs. Oh, I IOUs. Okay, what? Let me see if I can see what the fuck are they saying here. Since multiple dealers are out to get them, uh, from doing too many IOUs. Okay, so like, yeah. They're not paying back their drug dealers. Big surprise. So this is all... Um, alleged. This isn't like... This is just a, a hearsay, right? But... I mean, it makes sense, right? So take that for what you will. I, I thought that was interesting. I mean, a lot more interesting than whatever the fuck we've been watching for the past. How long have we been going? 47 minutes. Um... So that's cool. We got a song and we got that kind of little bit of info. Thank you. Yeah, they... I light one for each of my prayers. What is this? W, that's not a W, that's a V. V L A W H X. Is that like your promo code? Promo go promo code for God. Get 10 free prayers with one candle lit. Lighting it with spaghetti? I light my shit with spaghetti. That'd be crazy. <laughs> I don't want to have any similarities with other. No matter how good you are. What is this a picture of, by the way? There's a car. It's fucking Buzz Light, your space mobile. Um, no matter how good you are, if you are in the wrong place, you are worthless. God put me... What? God, please put me in the right place for my children. Blah, 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 blah. What is that, though? It's just a... It's a that's a lamp. I'm pretty sure that's a car. That's a skid. This is a house. It's a garbage bag. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Wow. Well, try to act normal while someone is holding your newborn baby. And it's tethered going crazy. I don't know how long I can keep that playing for. The music, we gotta cut it up a bit. God doesn't ask us to sacrifice. He made the ultimate sacrifice so we do not have to. Right after the AA meetings, or the NA meetings at least. I had a really shitty day today. Um, I got in a workout this morning, but then the people who promised to repay me for all of the clothing and items and days of my life that they've destroyed. Um, I sent them a message and asked them to give me the money now. 
and they did not. Then we found out that we have to go really far tomorrow. Um, and it's like, has to happen. Did I miss that? I remember she did do a video where she was like, this message is for you. You know who you are. Please replace all my shit. I worked really hard for my shit. And then, but she started talking about her car. As soon as she started talking, I thought she meant like the tent stuff. Like, you know, all her homeless possessions that, that she had to get rid of to get into the shelter. I thought she was talking about that, but she talked, she talked about everything, right? Um, I don't know if I missed that or if that was the message she's referring to or if she's going to do the video after. I have it somewhere. I hope I didn't cut it by mistake. It has to be a priority. Um, and it's one of those situations where, like, people know that I have no choice, you know, in the matter. So we have to come up with bus pass money again with no notice. And for some reason, they gave me $700 worth of link card and took away my cash assistance. Oh, she's angry. <laughs> what do you need that though for, Heather? What are, you, what are you trying to buy? You just need food, right? To breast pump? So can't wear bread on my feet. Can't wear bananas on my feet. Got to figure out a way. You have three pairs of shoes. Should buy shoes that fit you. I don't know. So, pregnant lady on the moon is clearly not a literal, uh, you know, recollection. I was not on the moon, giving a baby, giving birth to a baby of Earth on the moon. What I mean by that was, no, Heather, I thought you actually made it to the moon. That's what I, yeah, I took it literally. In the tent where we were in the adversity, in the oppressive circumstances, in the, the terror. Um, and terror doesn't always look like, you know, being terrorized. Why does it lie? Every day or having your toenails pulled off. It can just be not having a living situation. You know, that can be terror. And it was this com compilation of the last 40 weeks um, you know, or 37 weeks, wherever I was at during that shoot, I was in my final stretch of pregnancy and I was absolutely terrified. And I talked, oh, when she was demanding the stuff back, she talked to Dylan. She like messaged Dylan, Dylan Smith, our boy, a boy Dylan who's getting married. I guess that's something new. Dylan is getting married to Marissa. Bum, bum, bum. Um, I guess so, like when they beat each other up, they can't testify against each other. I don't know. I don't know. But their registry has been uh, interesting. Um, I don't know why she thought she would get anything out of Dylan. That's kind of stupid. I couldn't believe that we were at a point in life where so many weeks had passed and we were calling for help, screaming for help. And what's more than not having one is the, the terror of yelling out for help into a group. Imagine you have 15,000 followers. And, and that's only on one of the five social media platforms that I have um, you know, been using. But imagine you are yelling into a crowd of 15,000 people asking for something very, very simple. Very simple. What, what's going to be the so simple thing? Yeah, how? She's always fucking, how? Shelter. Somewhere safe to have your baby and raise. Shelter. I mean... You kind of gotta, you know, you can't just expect that, right? And it'd be nice in the perfect world, right? Hey, can, can someone just take me in? You're a stranger. Yeah, but can you just take me in? I I have a totally clean track record online. I, anyone would vouch for me. Raise your babies. And no one is responding. And that that was the inspiration for the photo shoot seller for the first time in my life. Um I was in that space with a baby, you know, with a baby in my tummy. Um, and unfortunately, as, a, as an adolescent, I've been in the space of powerlessness, uh, the land of the moon where you feel like you are just a victim of circumstance. Um, I've been a person on the moon, a land on the moon. I don't know if it was a cat. Was that a cat? It might have been Xavier. Maybe Xavier is like a cat. I mean, like he is, but maybe he's like acting like a cat now. Maybe that's his thing. You know, and powerless, but with a baby. All right. So you, all right. So you guys know how I usually get 450 of cash benefits and 200 of link card benefits. 
Now we're back to this. Okay. Okay. This is going to go off. They put $700 of link card benefits on my card. I'm a, I'm just me alone. I Like that's insane. And no cash benefits. So I didn't get myself anything my entire pregnancy. That's bullshit because you'd always be like, I, I'm going to treat myself. I'm treat myself today. I, mean, I deserve I'm homeless in this fucking tent. The, she'd always say the one time. That I go treat myself. The one time that I get a pedicure, the one time that I get makeup, it gets stolen, or this happens, or that happens. So there was many. I do only time, you know. I don't know. Clothes wise, um, I bought everything for the baby: his clothes, his stroller, his car seat, blah blah blah. Got the kids their Christmas gifts with it. Bought nothing for myself, and it's the first month I was going to buy myself pants. And there's no money there. Seven hundred dollars of bread, <laughs> seven hundred dollars of chicken, chicken nuggets out the wazoo. It Be grateful. I don't know. You're a businesswoman, right, Heather? Why don't you go buy some fucking ingredients and sell cookies outside, or brownies, or like lemonade? Go literally, go make a lemonade. Go buy some lemons and make some fucking lemonade and then sell it. And you'll make more money than what you have now. Is that not? Let's throw a wrench at her one day. I don't know, man. Like, she's like, she just annoys me. Or she talks all this shit. Like, I'm so smart. I can do anything. No, you can't. You can't even, like, you have opportunities out the ass right now. You can't even finish the coffee table book. But one thing I want is this. If I want them. But no money for clothes. No money for a bus pass. No money for nursing bags. If you guys can please sponsors, um, fix it, please. That'd be fantastic because uh, I need those things desperately. And I did call yesterday immediately after finding out that they made this <laughs> tremendous deposit. It's a week after the day that I usually receive the funding. It's $200 is what I received. Thank you, Kat Johnson. I that's what I would do if, like, I if they did that. I call and be like, Can't, "I need like other stuff too." They'd be like, "No," I'd be like, "Okay, well, I'll just do this then." <laughs> like, it's not, I don't know, crazy Heather. Steve in in food stamps and four hundred and fifty in tenth. Um, and like yeah, I said, I'm postpartum, like stamps. pads, uh, nursing pads. Um, you know, these things, I, I need these things and pregnant women get these things and they get them for the month after they have their baby. Yeah. The, the world, when you have a, you get pregnant and the world just gives you these things. Pregnant woman just gets these things. It's like when the trans lady was just like, I shouldn't get into that. Actually. That's a, that was an isolated incident. And uh, some people might take that. The wrong way what i'm saying so i'm very curious to understand where that funding is i have not even had a penny um you know of that money since i had my my son on february 19th so i mean she's doing the high eyes uh this is a bad i'll try to get a good still very very yeah these are like the... when her eyes get all crazy <laughs> curious seems super weird and corrupted i i need that funding back and also, I've been telling you guys, I was waiting to buy pants until after I gave birth. And my kids, all four, need Easter baskets. Her kids need shit all the time. I mean, like, oh, my God. She's going to be in 10 years from now. She's going to have, like, seven more kids. And, like, they're all going to need Easter baskets. They're all going to need Halloween candy. And it's going to be the sponsor's fucking responsibility. She needs, like, a, she needs a cult. She's not going to get by. She's not going to make it. And she keeps having all these kids and she actually expects to like um, provide for them in the w wacky ways she thinks is adequate. So you know who these messages are for. You're watching right now. If these messages are for you, uh, if the message. Yeah. Imagine. I just had a kid and be like, all right, guys, I don't feel like working. Just donate me money, you know, for my kids. <laughs> it resonates. It's for you. If you feel that little guilt in your chest, it's for you. Um, I would be grateful if you could replace my belongings. This is the one. I, okay. I, this is the one I was talking about. Uh, I worked really hard for everything that I have. My entire life, I've worked really hard. 
Uh, so if you could replace my belongings that you've destroyed, stolen, uh, or looked the other way and allowed others to destroy or steal, that'd be fantastic. And we're into the several thousands of dollars range. The car alone was 10K. Several thousands of dollars range. Okay. So uh, I don't think she has a filter on, at least in this one. She looks more like a good old Heather. And I paid for it all myself. Uh, my clothing, I've spent on average, I would say close to 3000 a year for you, whoever you are, to follow me around and destroy it. Um, I'm going to post my cash up again. I'm not posting these because I don't need this to continue to follow me around anymore. Uh, but if you could if you could do the right thing, as you're asking me to do, that'd be fantastic. What do you mean? As you're, Who's asking you to do? Like society or the, the shelter people, you know? You got to take the right steps if you want to live here, that kind of thing. So you're just going to demand tens of thousands of dollars from the ominous they. Or it was several thousand? It's all good, Miss Keeping Up. Several thousands of dollars. What a goofball. What Heather is such a goofball. Joel Olstein today, the rewards of integrity. She's all up into this guy's business, too. I mean, this was the guy, I don't know. I think his security shot a woman. I shouldn't say that. Allegedly shot a woman um, outside of one of his churches. And then he also wouldn't let people in when there's like a flood or something. I don't know why it's on here for so long. We'll just look like he's a your You guys, the, are you running a business that's still brick and mortar with no social media or online presence? See, this is what we're going to have to do. I'm going to have to reach out to Heather under an alias. I'm going to have to start a company from scratch and get Heather to help promote it. We'll see how far it goes. If you are, please DM or call me. My number is on the post before this. We can do a free 15 to 30 minute consultation and discuss your business. He's a charlatan. He uses the word of God to like benefit himself and look like a fucking saint when he's not. I need more fucking man. Me. All it takes is one. Everybody gets one. That's what Spider-Man said. Wow. That's what Peter Griffin said. Is this it? Is this the end? Good morning. No, it's not. Good morning, you guys. We are talking about wardrobe. We have none. Um, so I had the baby and lost like 30 pounds instantly. Obviously, you have blood, water, the baby, um, and other fluid that you lose, the amniotic fluid that, that comes out immediately. In addition, I've been breastfeeding every day or pumping every day, one or the other or both. And that burns between five and 700 calories on average. In addition, I began working out again. Three days after we had the baby, we walked seven miles um, to get to our new uh, shelter. So we want to start working again. We need a wardrobe. We're in, uh, you know, a safe and secure location now. If you guys can afford to donate or sponsor a wardrobe, um, we would love to go thrifting with the money. You guys can send anything from one dollar to twenty dollars. You know, even five dollars, three dollars, whatever you have. Um, so yeah. I forgot where I left off, but we need a wardrobe. I specifically have like. Why do you need a wardrobe? I thought she had an interview and she was. Uh... Did she get it? Or maybe not. I, I guess not. I don't know who was interviewing her either. Interviewing her for Hope Hotel California. Thrifting for ball gowns. Oh my God. Yeah, that's the other thing she wants to do is do the fucking. The, that photo shoot. She might have said that actually when I was grabbing a drink like three pairs of pants that fit. I curated a beautiful uh, a beautiful idea for my next photo shoot, um, but I need a ball gown. I'd like to go to the Salvation Army and thrift. We can shoot some content there. Um, we have a lot of meetings and, oh, and stuff coming up this week oh. and next. Um, and as you guys know, I never stopped applying for outside work. So when I'm asking for assistance, it's not because I'm lazy. Um, it's because we have not been given opportunity to earn our own income. Um, and I'm going to post my resume here. That's not true. Didn't th <laughs> there was one crazy night in Lincoln Park near the zoo, I think, where there was this other like homeless maybe lady. I don't know if she was actually homeless or not. She was supposedly a nurse that was offering Heather a job or something. And Xavier was like, she offered you a job. And she was like, shut the fuck up. They were like following them around and shit. I don't know. That was crazy. Um, but no, every time she's offered work, she doesn't take it.
as I do on my primary page, along with several letters of recommendation that go all the way back to 2012, I believe. So I have one from 2012, a couple from 2014, a couple from 2020. Um, and those are just references. I'm only going to post the three that I always post. Um, but if you can help, please do. And so if you guys want to sponsor a photo shoot or a curation or a production or anything that is um, more stable, like employment, um, or you want to buy me shoes or, you know, nursing pads, you know, any of these fun things that make life enjoyable. Like, I don't know. I don't know. You guys, we got to donate. She probably has all these things. She just wants money for fucking air duster how much does air duster cost i heard it costs a lot specifically because you don't want people fucking huffing it and you don't really need you don't need to buy that much like if you're using it what it's for its intended uses i guess we'll use the word enjoyable um that would be fantastic but what i would love even more than that is some sort of remote opportunity to earn my own income six dollars a can in the states it's six dollars a can that's pretty crazy I remember going to Best Buy with one of my friends because they needed um, air duster for like their keyboard. And it was like $47 it was the cheapest one. And I was like, what? Um, and I just assumed it was because of this reason. But I guess in America, um, you can buy it for $6 a can. That's pretty fancy. Damn. Like data entry, billing and coding, um, you know, personal assisting remotely. Yeah, Best Buy. You think Best Buy would have the best price, but uh, um, travel scheduling, uh, anything like that. And again, I'm gonna post my resume here. Not a single month has gone by in these past, you know, several years that I have not applied okay. to a plethora of jobs. And I have fitness, I have healthcare, I have office clerical, um, I even have factory. We even went to temp agencies looking for factory work. Like we're not lazy, lazy. I say if you'd like to sponsor a production or a curation, that doesn't mean you're the director. <laughs> okay. Who was trying to direct the photo shoot after fucking donating? Yeah, she doesn't look very happy. She looks kind of like Chicken Little here. I don't know why. Maybe not Chicken Little. Maybe another chicken. Maybe like Foghorn Leghorn, something like that. I'm always the director because I'm always the only model. Um, GoPro Solo only has one model and one artist. Um, I do my own art, but Xavier well, we could almost just not have a fucking name for it. Then we could just call it Heather Gillespie. Xavier does his own, like his separate entity is art. He doesn't do any on-screen work, except if it's just like behind the scenes and me being like, Xavier, do you want to say hi? Um, but he is the photographer. He helps me with wardrobe and he does art. Um, I'm the statement model, curator, director. So please don't think that if you donate ten dollars you have like just purchased yourself the right to embarrass me in the street on camera and say that it's you curating something. Can we, I uh, can I see who wanted her to do what Tweety Bird. Yeah. She does look like Tweety Bird too. <laughs> it's a shame that I have to spell this out, but unfortunately um, the past has, has shown us that we have to be crystal clear about these things because uh, some people just really take advantage. Are there any sponsors left? Uh, because I thought you just got a new sponsor. What happened to your new sponsor? Were you too pushy and picky and like mean? You know, I mean, like, I'm not going to take any of your suggestions because uh, you're just making me like stupid, even though you're giving me money to do nonsense. Just live my best uh, technically homeless life, I guess. I've been explaining everything that's been going on. Usually it's been like over a year since they've left me without any funding. <laughs> this caption is actually pretty funny. Hold up, hold up. Um, I gotta take the countdown. So you guys can appreciate this. This uh, I don't ask for much. Money for pads, money for nursing bags, shoes, shake my head. Easter baskets, like what do you mean? We don't need Easter baskets. You have three pairs of shoes. Um, what's going on here? I mean, like people don't want fucking times are tough. Times are tough. And then they're not going to just give fucking a homeless lady money for Easter baskets for her kids who are living their best lives with other families who will buy them Easter baskets. We don't need to buy them Easter baskets. The sponsors, the sponsors don't need to buy them Easter baskets. 
go uh, trade your shoes in. Go trade them. Do the swap. Uh, is there a shoe swap? Uh, and I'm I'm really curious as to how it's possible that one person has sent a dollar with a note that said, get a job, you fucking bitch. Um, it's just fantastic, you know? So sponsors, where are you guys? Anyone left? Anyone? Anyone? Anywhere? Anyone left? Um, the changes in climate are absolutely just discouraging, to say the least. It literally makes absolutely no sense. I'm on the live, like with humility you're on the live with the i did not see her do a live did she do a live this week I, did she do a live this week expressing what's going on saying i'm willing to work here's my resume for three years i'm applying to 50 to 300 jobs and and like that's the response get a fucking job bitch yeah yeah because you just post your resume to like instagram who takes care of things i don't need you to kill this is, I don't know why these weren't in her stories. Maybe there's more videos like this that I need to find, but this was fucking beautiful. This made my day. This was like, <laughs> that's fucking amazing. Oh shit, Beth, Beth, thank you for the, the $50 super sticker. You didn't have to do that. What is it? What does a $50 super look, sticker look like? Um, oh, I guess I should end the poll too. You guys think it's slime for Ghostbusters? Oh, it's a very fancy one. Hold on. Look at this, guys. Look at this guy. He's uh doing a fancy kicking, super effective. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. You did not have to do that. Um, but I super appreciate you. Thank you. Uh where oh I gotta find the other screen now. I need two screens. Um well, I need a, a laptop that can actually use a screen. That would that would be great too. Oh, and I'll get it with your hands. But I need to feel so feminine around you because you are so masculine that I. Xavier, it's a, the, so masculine. That's what I call him a lesbian and a trans Xavier all the time. That they are making Xavier trans. He's so masculine. You can turn my brain off because I know you've got it. I trust you. I trust your intellect. I trust your character. I that's a, that's a very different tune from what I've been hearing from Heather the past fucking six months that I've known her. She's trusting Xavier completely. This is this is whack. <laughs> These are some funny pictures of Xavier. I haven't seen this many sides of him. I trust that I can close my eyes and follow you blindly and I'm going to be happy about where I end up. That's what it's about. We go out. I don't have to use my brain. I don't have to think. Order the whole thing for us. Take me. Plan the. This is just like this is. This is the last time you were drunk, Heather. Remember, you're like I don't even remember the last time I had a drink. Right there, right fucking there. At least that's the last time I remember you having a drink. And Xavier's wasted, super wasted. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say something else, but I forget. Oh. If I had more time, I would have edited in like all the time she yells at Xavier or fucking, you know, like, I love you. I love you so much. And then cuts to her being like, can you stop playing with that fucking lighter? I don't want to hear people smoke. I don't want people hearing you smoke weed while I'm trying to prove in court all this shit in the tent. Thank you. Tell me where we're going and we're all set. It's so lost on. <laughs> Why did you put that? What the fuck is this? This is great. This is awesome. <laughs> Am I drunk? I don't know. I'm not drunk. I think Xavier's drunk. <laughs> Why would she post that? Us, yes, toxic masculinity. That's not good. Megan, you have to promise not to post any pictures of me like that. <laughs> if you ever do, if you ever do a montage like this, I'm like, yeah. But we need masculinity. It's really important, and that's what we try to push. And we live in a time of new age. Yeah, no, they were super. They were super drunk in that one where he's like doing all that weird shit, like trying to bite her. Um, they had the southern accent going on. Xavier got lost in um, where did he get lost? In a ditch or something in the garbage? Hold on, I'll, I'll find the clip. I'll find the clip and I'll play it because it's important to know. It's feminism and this whole idea that women. So for anyone who wants, uh... and that's that's where it cuts off. Uh, so I guess Melissa 
is the newest um, newest addition to this. Um, to offer free resume advice, I will gladly look it over. I did forward my resume to um, the VP of a company, of the purchasing department's company, uh, a large company, um, a chain company that spans over the East Coast as well as the Midwest okay. for review. Um, and everyone else who's seen it has said that it's really good. So uh, if you have any any commentary that's actually, um, what sort I'm looking for, practical, I guess would be the word. Like if you- Is my commentary not practical? I'm trying to find, how do I filter? I just wanna look at shorts. YouTube is such a strange place sometimes. Want to say, add this, take this out. I'm definitely open to advice. The DM is open. Um, and Melissa, huge shout out to you. Thank you so much. Um, that's really, really helpful. I'm gonna get more storage bags for my breast milk. Thank you so much. More storage bags for the breast milk. Yeah, that's what I think about at my 1 a.m., 2 a.m. pump times. This is crazy. While um, everyone else is sleeping, I have an alarm set for every four to six hours so that I can keep my supply up for my baby. And that's what's going on in my mind. Breast milk on deck. <laughs> Breast milk on deck, guys. All right, is this what... um? How do I not have it? I, I really thought that uh, YouTube would just fucking have my back on this. I don't know where the fucking clip is. If I find it, I'll, I'll pull it up. That's crazy to me. So I'd like to share another poem with you guys. Yesterday we were talking about Lady on the Moon. Um, and that's one that I wrote when I was just in tremendous fear in you know the middle of my pregnancy the last months of my pregnancy being told every week that we were getting an apartment that everything was taken care of um being I found it i found it hold up told by 311 that even if xavier's dad didn't get us an apartment when the baby was born we'd have housing um and just feeling like with all the people walking by our tent physically and like looking at us and everyone online four thousand impressions per post they to get someone's gonna come through you know but they didn't because you gotta you gotta look out for yourself man at the end of the day the end of the day um what is happening let's go into the other thing hold on Look. um and that's lady on the moon well three years ago um i wrote this check it out so one of the biggest themes that I want to do um, with regards to campaigning and the impact campaign is using that instead of anti-bullying campaign, impact campaigns goes back to the law direction and Mother Teresa when they say it always works better to phrase things in the affirmative than it does the positive or the negative. I'm sorry, the negative. So always in the affirmative or positive. Um, and by doing what's your impact, you force people to ask themselves, what have I done to contribute to the people around me situation? Now, if someone is a bully, they can answer that question honestly and know that their impact has been malicious. If someone has a good heart and is out here doing the right things, they can easily answer what has their impact been and feel comforted. If a person feels discomforted in their response, they should, you know, be exploring that more. So rather than anti-bully, let's go with what's your impact. The former president had his legal team have appealed and requested. For anyone who is worried. The fucking toe. The fucking toe. Okay. Check this out, guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is Heather drunk as fuck. Um. It'll be self-explanatory. It's actually way too low. Give me a second. One of these days. To, um, God damn it. He wants to, to uh, film a movie. He also wants us to get drunk. 
that would mean that that no he's pulling like hair out of his face they're both wasted to fuck our third day getting drunk in a row and film a movie and before we ended up getting drunk these three days we had six months without getting drunk uh -huh. so i'm not an alcoholic or nothing like that but Xavier vomited on his own pants and got lost three blocks away. He got lost three blocks away. This, 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 look at him. Seems pretty proud of himself. Like good, good old Xavier. He didn't even so tell him what I happened. I found him and, and I brought he him back. He didn't even tell them what happened. So that is, uh, that's what I was talking about. That's a great line to find. Whoop, that's the wrong button. Here we go. Back to the this other worried about my milk supply. Wow. Me. Um it's back up. So thank you so much uh for your concern. It just took me pumping every two to three hours over and over, even when only a little milk would come out. Um and then seeing the baby and feeding him, um, it it came right back. So we're back up to six ounces per pump every four to six hours, which is where I'm going to keep it. Um, and yeah, so that's all fixed. It is frustrating and scary when you get so engorged. I highly recommend never allowing yourself, if you can help it, you know, to go 12, 16 hours without pumping or feeding. It's very... Wait, are we looped? I think we looped. We looped. That was it. That's the whole, that's everything we got. That's it. Oh my God. Well, I mean, yeah, she's been like not giving us a lot this, these past weeks, but it's 11 PM on Friday. So we can go, <laughs> we can go enjoy our lives. Guys. Um, uh, yeah, I don't have anything else for us. Do I have anything else for us? I'm thinking oh, we went over everything. Um, here, we'll finish off the song. I don't think we listened to the full song. Um, so I'll, I'll close out the stream with this for you guys. Oh, you want you want Mattering Bam too? I'll, I'll pull that up as well. I'll, I'll get that up while this is playing. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great evening. <laughs> so we ain't got to worry about you, Heather, but we going to keep watching. Know that DFAX is watching you, the caseworker watching you. you know, you're not supposed to be around that child. So it, it, it's only a matter of time. They're going to put you out, Heather. You're going to be back outside in that tent. And the police are watching the yacht club. And the boat's going to be running around and people going to be coming around to the boat. So where are you going to go? You can't go to the yacht club. What are you going to do? Live on the pier? Because what? It's Believe, it's Hope, it's Salvation Army, it's uh, Selena Motel. You've already been kicked out. Of, uh, you're about to get kicked out of this one, too. So where are you going to go? Don't be scared. You're going to live outside. You and Xavier. That's where the two of you belong. You're both of your animals. I don't even know what to say to Xavier. I don't even know what, what what's what's mentally wrong with him. The two of you need to get away from each other. Y'all some idiots. You're going to stay outside, Heather, for the rest of your life. You're never going to be able to live indoors. This song about to end, Heather. And I'm disgusted with you, just like your children are. Ooh-wee. Finax. Rattering bam, mattering bam, battering ram, battering ram, battering ram, Rattering bam, mattering bam, battering ram, Battering ma'am. Battering ram.
Oh, shit. It doesn't work. All right. Good night, guys. I just wanted to thank you guys for the super chats um, at the end there. Thank you, Xavier's Chocolates. Thank you. I think it was Ryan. I got another screen for this. Ryan, thank you for the $10 as well. Um, have a great weekend. I'll be around uh, for the members tomorrow. I'll do the cup stream. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you guys all later. Bye.